We got some pregnant goats. Gary, how are you today? You just strutting around your property? I love this part. It's my favorite snake in this whole room. Oh, crap. She's so pretty right after she shits. He's it when she wants to. Oh my god. I just died three times. Let's go. There we go. Beautiful. Such a pretty freaking snake, dude. The albino visual male baboon. Oh, baby. Woo. He's got a filthy cage. We're gonna go ahead and get him out. Howdy, freaking do, my people. How are you? Welcome to Riders Ranch. On today's episode, yeah, I don't know. We're just gonna do things. Thank you, Plane, for being loud, dude. Really excited about this right now. Check this out. Oh, yeah. You see that? This door is open, which means there ain't no more chickens in here. So, so tight. So there's still a couple roosters roosting around my property. Hopefully when they go to sleep tonight, I'm gonna yoink them out with the freaking net. That's honestly the easiest way to do it. I've been chasing around all morning, trying to catch them damn things, and it ain't happening. So, got some cool things going on today. We gotta go in the snake room. Gotta feed some things. Check on a bunch of other things. Hog no snakes, guys. We're on Morph Market now. Go down below, link in the description. Go on the Morph Market page. I think we have uh, 16 left. Right, yeah, sold a couple already. Got 16 left, get them before they're gone. And another, announcement October 19th and 20th right here in West Palm I'll also put the information down below is the scales expo it's the second year that's been happening last year I didn't make it because uh, the baby oh yeah we were in uh, we were in Mexico last year that's why so this year I'm making it it's gonna be super tight we got some pregnant goats so we uh, we gotta we gotta fix some things over here real soon their little shed that's right back here behind me not a whole lot of work to do I just got to fill it back up with some fresh hay take all the old stuff out fill it up with new hay and then we got to build a door a better door last time it was a pain in the butt they gave birth like without me realizing they were gonna give birth came home one day Brandon was like they're having babies right now so I wasn't able to build that door properly so before this time we're gonna make sure we got a nice door to go in and out of and the females can't escape because last time remember I was having a problem with the mamas they kept trying to get out of there and I had to make sure they stayed in there so they fed the babies we're gonna be on top of it this time even though last time was great the babies ate perfectly fine I didn't even have to bottle feed them or anything the mothers did a pristine job taking care of those cute little goats. Gary, how are you today? You just strutting around your property, making sure everyone's behaving. Good job, appreciate it. And I took today off originally because the driveway people were supposed to be coming today, redoing my driveway finally. But something happened with one of their machines and they didn't show up. Tomorrow, hopefully they actually show up, but I have to go to work, which is a big bummer because I literally had today off so I can make sure I could be here and oversee what's going on. But whatever, things break. Some things are just out of your control. No sense in crying over spilt milk, you know what I mean? Let's get some things done in here. And then we got a little update on the Kilo situation, apparently, that's going on that I didn't know about. Find out here in a bit. Give these guys some H2O. Well, I'm worried me. Her mouth was just open a little tiny bit. I don't know why. We're just gonna miss these mangs now before we get started. Uh, take care of some cages. Shatid just shed. So we'll take her out. See how her scale situation is doing. I always like to, every time she sheds, I like to just get her out, get a nice close look on how those scales are healing. If they're ever gonna get better. Super big bummer, man. I thought that she would just shed out that stuff, no problem, but she's just not. It definitely looks better than it did when it first happened when she cut herself all up on that water bowl, but still not 100%. I wonder when she will be 100%. Let's get these mangs taken care of. They're doing good. So it looks like the female pretty much has all this stuck shed off of her. She just has a little tiny bit on top. It's not too concerning. And then the male, he's super light right now. He looks like he's going through shed. We're going to do a video soon also going back and forth with Justin and my buddy Eslin that was over here the other day. We're going to make a video. We're going to start medicating everything in this room. We literally switched who we get all our feeders from. We switched the water that we use. 
even though I was just at Red Barn this morning and this guy, Mike, that lives right down the street from me, he breeds colubrids. He has hundreds of snakes at his house. He's a huge, huge breeder for colubrids down here. He has barons racers. He's got all sorts of really cool, like blue barons and like really high end awesome stuff. He's lived here for six years. I was talking to his son today at Red Barn and they use well water for all of their snakes still, which just blows my mind. So I'm just trying to like eliminate all the factors that could possibly be while we've been losing some snakes lately, which sucks, dude. But apparently, he uses the water here. He doesn't have any problems. He's never had any issues the whole six years that he's lived here. So the only other thing that I can really think about that Eslin was telling me the other day that he does that I don't do just to be safe, he always medicates his snakes once a month. So one week, he does a round of panic here. And then the next week, he does a round of flagell. And you have to do it three consecutive treatments in a row in order for both of the medications to work. So hopefully, that's what's going on over here. So yeah, we're just gonna up everything. Just make sure we're taking extra, extra, extra close care and all the precautions necessary that we need to be taking to make sure that all these animals stay super healthy and they live long, beautiful lives over here. I love this part. It's my favorite snake in this whole room. <laughs> She's such a turd! Where's the lid to the receptacle? The frick did I just put it? Here we are. Make sure this, where it needs to be, to get her out. Now, from inside the cage, this is probably the best way to observe her. But as you can see, she used to have scales that were like kind of really rough and they would stick up off of her scales. And it was almost like she still had like openings in her skin. But as you can see from this last shed, she does look a lot better. I wasn't really expecting it to look much better, but it actually freaking does, which is great. Look at that beautiful light color she is now that she just shed. Um, her water is good, but we'll just give her some fresh water. Spot cleaner cage. Get all this sh shed out of here. Give her a nice little fluffy fluff. And we're good to go, baby. All right, let's see here. Shadid, how are you gonna be today, huh? So I like to just let her go in her cage like this. Get her going away from me. Then makes it a little bit easier to get her out. Just like so. Bada bing, bada boom. Beautiful. Mm -mm. Oh, crap. So fast, right? Not a fun snake to work with most of the time. So we just gotta get her in there. Don't go too fast, because you don't wanna make stupid mistakes. That can end your life. Right here, that's a boop. And a trash can. Right here. God, I'll get your blood going right there. She's so freaking fast. All right, now she definitely needs a new water because I just got crap all in it. We go spot clean her cage and then put her back in, which is normally much easier. It's a lot easier getting her out of the can than putting her into the can. Nice and clean. And you know what I forgot about? That we are going to start using because, I mean, granted, obviously this is what I do for a living. I've been doing this my whole life. I love the rush. Crazy snake being all being all defensive and stuff, you know what I mean? Your boy's a dad. Gotta stay as safe as possible, okay? I don't like when snakes come flying out the cage like Shatit does, especially in this room, you know what I mean? So the safest way to handle her is gonna be using this lockbox, which I totally forgot that I had, and I just remembered that I have it. So we are going to set this up in her cage today. It has this sweet little lock that all I have to do when she's in her cage and say she's in the hide box, all I gotta do is Close this with a snake hook. Literally, there's a loophole right here. I can literally operate this with a snake hook. Open and close it. Get her out safely. Just pull the whole box out. You can even lock this if you have to. You don't really need to lock it because this little latch right here is really strong. We are going to start using this for Shatid because she is just an absolute freaking lunatic most of the time. And that'll be nice. She's the perfect size to fit inside of there. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's go ahead and get the glass situated so we can put her safely back in this enclosure. Hopefully, this works out the way that I want it to. A lot of the times with her, I don't even have to really handle her too much to put her back in the enclosure. If we just take this lid off, get the first quarter of her body, put her head in there, and then normally she will go in there the rest of the way by herself. Look how pretty she is though. Look at that light, light color. She's so pretty right after she shits. You are pretty, you are also pretty psycho. She's on one today. She probably smells the rats that are in here. But yeah, see how she goes into her cage? Nope, let's stay inside. Give her a little tickle tickle, put her in there. Of course I touch her and she turns right around. There we go, look at that. 
perfect. Just like that, nice and safe. Next up, Batman and Robin, the video that we put out before this one. I noticed that she was ovulating, and even right now, does not look, ah, she looks a little thick still, but it looks like we might be over that cycle. And they haven't been doing anything, unfortunately. They were kind of doing a little bit of the movement the other day, but not too sure that they had a lockup or anything. They have had visual locks in the past, but nothing has come of it, so. It was more of like a test, you know? A lot of people in the comments were like, why the hell do you want to breed those things? They'd have more out in the world. Well, it'd be cool to have Batman and Robin babies. There's not a whole lot of bat wings on the market, but uh, yeah, it was just a test. It didn't happen, so don't be mad at me. So let's go ahead and put Batman back up top because we're gonna give them another maybe day or two. And then we are going to go get some jumbo rats because we are out of jumbos right now. They both need to eat. So we'll just get them separated again so that way she's not in like breeding mode. Look at these freaking, dude, he's so big. He's so heavy. But yeah, we'll get them separated again so that way we don't have Robin go off of feeding like she did before when it was uh, the end of the year and everything got cooled down. Robin probably went a good three months without taking a meal. Gonna feed some stuff today too. Tea to medium wrap right here. Hey, see it. Look, that right here. That on top of the hide box. So that way she just eats it when she wants to. Oh my god. I just died three times. <laughs> Got the blackhead pythons. They need to eat. Look how big Mean, mean Steve is getting, dude. Look at that. Oh yeah. Nice little wrap for him. Grab another one for sweet clementine. Got a nice medium rat in here for her. She's hiding in her hide box right now. Let's go out here. Are you shed? Oh, look at you. Look how freaking pretty she looks. Oh, she's in shed. You want to eat in shed? Maybe? Look at that. Eating in shed, hopefully. She's striking at it. Hey, come. Look, you want this? Do you want this? Do you want this, huh? Would you? Would you like this? There we go. Look at that. Oh yeah. Love when my snakes eat when they're in shed. The more meals, the bigger they get. Got another medium rat for this indigo. Boom. Took that, no problem. Nice. So hard to see in these cages. So hard. Yeah, we gotta get some freaking lights on these things. All black one. Boom. I know it's hard to see without these stinking lights on. That's something we gotta do here real soon. Just put lights on these indigos. So hard having black snakes on mulch and then filming for you guys. It's hard to see. It's even hard to see when people come over here for tours. So we'll give these guys some good meals today. There we go. They all ate. Awesome. Continue down the line. All right, so now we have Apollo, the albino visual male gaboon. Boom, baby. Woo. Love that freaking snake, dude. He is an absolute tank. So cool. Also needs to have his light fixed because it keeps getting disconnected for some reason. Then we got the 100% female hit albino. A little dangle dangle. Woo. Slam that thing, man. Be half of it already. So sick. All right, could be no time. Here we go. So let's get a sweet shot of him. Find a little crawler, whatever the hell they are. You know, I thought I had a whole bunch. Here we go. So we got a crawler for the Gabina. Here you go, bud. Cool, let's go. There we go. Beautiful. Such a pretty freaking snake, dude. Definitely one of my favorites in here. It's just such a good looking Gabina, bro. Oof. Once I get breeding these things, guys, ooh, it's game over. Then you guys can have one at home. Anybody that's permitted. Next up is Chandler. Boom, boom, boom. Here's our Chan. There you go. Come on. Come on, bud. Come on. Wait. He's a little shy eater. He doesn't always strike it. Sometimes I could just throw the food in there. He'll eat it off camera just because he's a little shy boy. This other albino female back here. Give her a pup. Oh. Oh, 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 she's struck. All right, there we go. That's that. Make sure to keep my fingers out of the danger zone. There we go. Now, for the little female that has been refusing to eat, hopefully, I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna give her a smaller meal today. We're just gonna try to give her a hopper. Maybe she's going to eat it, hopefully. She might not though, because she's been a little bit on the weird side. This is one of the ones that I definitely want to make sure I medicate, make sure she doesn't have anything weird going on with her, because it's definitely possible. Put that right there. We'll just have to keep posted later. Hopefully she eats. Falsies! We got a quail for you too. Come on out. Let's go. Come on. 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 Why don't you come flying out the cage? No? All right. 
All right, just leave it there. There you go. That's a good meal for her. I don't know why that stupid light keeps going on and off. That's annoying. It's such a pain in the butt sometimes. Oh, it's out of here. Cut the feet off. Here we go. I want you to chase me. You chased me all the other times. Now you don't want to. Come on! Take it! What, would you like a bird? Oh, you're gonna be nice today? Look how gentle this stupid snake is being today. If only these things come flying out the cage, they chase me out the room. Got the last black and white spinning cobra. Come on, dude. You're a lunatic. Alright, there we go. Very aggressive eater all of the time. Never have to worry about these things refusing a meal. Like little garbage disposals, dude. They always eat. Always hungry, always eating. Got a couple more quail left. So we're gonna give one to Mr. Augie, or Mrs. Augie. August? Augie? The girl, right? I think it's a girl. Pretty sure it's a girl. And then the uh, black dragon that we have is a boy. So now that I got rid of all those stupid chickens, I still have some baby chickens, which we are gonna start a new flock in a different area of the property. The whole reason why I wanted to get rid of those ones is because they're so used to being in that area. I want them to all be used to a different area with a cow and stuff. So that way we don't have chickens running all around my property and destroying my house on a daily basis. A lot of people don't think chickens are very destructive, but they will destroy your house, especially your garden beds and around your house. They do their little dust bath. They, even though they have an area to do the dust bath, they still like to go in your garden and all around my house. And there's just dirt around the whole freaking house now because all the chickens. It drives me freaking crazy. I want this place to be looking awesome. Give Cammy one. There you go, sweetheart. So I want this place to just be super, super nice when people come over for tours. So I were redoing the driveway, make that super cool. Not only is it gonna be nicer and better for people to come over with tours, but the ground will be nice and even. My, my daughter's walking around. She's not tripping over freaking rocks and stuff. You know? All right, it's time for Kilo. So a lot of people have been commenting on the videos. Not sure why. Maybe it's just because we haven't done anything with him in a while. But for some reason, people thought that something happened to Kilo, which is not the case. Kilo is doing just fine. As you can see, he's living, surviving, conniving, doing his thing. He just shed, he's got a filthy cage. So we're gonna go ahead and get him out. And as you can see, he's doing great. Good, good man. He's got great body weight, not overweight anymore. He's eating, awesome. So we're gonna go ahead, put him safely into the snake receptacle. Here we go. We're gonna clean his cage and give him some food. All right, cage is nice and clean. And not only is his cage clean, but we fixed his heat light, as you can see. So I'm sure he's gonna like that. Here you go, Beautiful, beautiful white boy. We got a nice medium wrap for him as well. The last one. Here we go. Let's see if he is interested, even though I was just messing with him. Normally I don't like to mess with them before I feed them. But he's a pretty good eater, so I know he's hungry. So here you go, bud. Just like that. And that is it, guys. Just like that. We are complete. Everything is fed, taken care of, fresh water, food. We're good. Good to go. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate y'all. For your merch, you know where to go. TylerNolanTattoos.com. Not only that, but you can go on my website, fill out a booking form, get tattooed. Booking for the end of the year right now. Still got plenty of spots left. Hit me up. Throw me some cool ideas. And let's make it happen. All right. Stay tuned for everything else. We got some really cool things going on. Now that things are starting to level out a little bit, getting back to a good grind. We're gonna get back on here, start pumping out some videos, start getting lots of stuff done around the property. Like I said, driveway's getting done. That's gonna be awesome. Monitor enclosure is gonna get done. The gator pond is finally gonna get done. The aviaries for the birds and chaka finally getting done. Stay tuned, God bless.